Hi. In this video I'm going to show you how to use command line arguments. But first, uh, we need to answer the question, why do we need to use command line arguments in my application? The answer for that is, uh, sometimes we need to pass some data into the application from the command line. You can't do that from NetBeans because NetBeans can only run the applications without arguments. Let me show you how to do that. First, let me point that uh, let's create a create a project for this command line arguments. Okay. When you write any application in NetBeans, um, you can just use the run button for that purpose or you can go into debug mode and run your application step by step and see errors etc but uh, for this, uh, for any applications for a simple one like this for example system out print line hello world all you have to do is click on the run button right and it will show you the results. This is one way to run any application. What if you don't have NetBeans or if you want an, a, the application run on the command line on the terminal only? This application cannot run on the terminal with the arguments. Let me show you how to run it first. What you need to do is you need to go into the folder this is a Linux command uh, terminal screen by the way in Windows you have a similar screen and you can run it by you can open that uh, application that terminal application in Windows by tapping the command CMD my machine is uh, Linux so I, I need to use this uh, application this terminal application and the commands are <coughs> very similar to go into a folder <coughs> excuse me to go into a folder you need to use the command CD and to see what's in the folder to co the contents of the folder you need to type LS in uh, Linux or DIR in Windows okay here I see I have a couple of folders MB project SRC build etc. I need to go into this SRC folder and here we have the package name command linear uh, con I'm sorry con con command line arguments it looks like linear but hmm. command line arguments so the way you can run this uh, you can uh, run this application from the terminal you need to compile it first for that purpose, I'm I'm gonna go in, into the command line arguments and then type the command Java C Java and the name of the application dot Java. As you know, dot Java file is a source file. When you compile it, it does produce a class file. This is my source file with the Java extension and this is my class file after the compilation which is actually Java bytecode okay now I'm going to run this application with the command Java this is the way you run it uh, if you have a package name like uh, we do for example here our package name is command line arguments we need to use that package name and dot command line arguments okay and then when you hit enter it says hello world the application runs okay this is the way you run Java applications from the terminal screen so we have two ways to run an application one is a terminal like this one and the other one is NetBeans itself, like this one. So, what do we, uh, why are we going to use uh, the command lines for our application? For example, 
I want to pass two integers into my Java application and then do something with them okay without using the scanner object without using the keyboard I can pass comma, uh, arguments as an input to the application as you see here this is the main method which is a public and static method which returns nothing does not return anything that's why it's called void the return type is void right and the name of the method is main main is a special method as you remember when you run a Java application the entry point is the main method okay so the arguments for this method is a string array and the name of the argument is argument arg s you can change the name and uh, you can do it uh, you can rename it as you like it but by default uh, the, this name is you used everywhere so you can just leave it like that so what happens when you pass any argument from the command line to your application your arguments will be stored in the string array and then you can access the members of the array and use it in your application let me show you an example I will write an application that will take the sides of the rectangular we did that before and then calculate the area of it okay so I need two integers side A and side B but instead of using a scanner and ask user to enter those numbers I will just pass it from the command line so assuming that those arguments side A and side B passed by the user from the terminal screen they must be saved they will be saved in the string array right so what we, we, need, to, uh, we need to do is take those numbers from the string array and use the value of method and read the number since string array is an array I have members 0 with the index 0 1 2 3 etc so the first one will be the first argument I enter and it will be a string and I need to convert that string into integer and assign it to side A because side A is integer and I wanna use it while I'm ca calculating the area we will do the same thing for side B but this time we will take the second member from the string okay so while you're running this application it's gonna be it's gonna be something like this uh, java command line arguments dot command line arguments file four and six and then hit enter it will generate the area so what it will say system out print line area is side a times side B okay let's test it we need to save it and then recompile it here Java compile command line Java 
and then where is that? Uh, okay, and run the application. But this time we will give six and ten as arguments. These are the arguments you type it after the application name. Okay, six is the first argument, ten is the second argument. Area is sixty. Six times ten is sixty. So six goes into the array argument zero and ten goes into the array as member two. Okay, let me show you what do we have in the arrays. Uh, system out print line first argument value is gonna be arguments zero right and the second one is going to be argument one if we save it and well maybe we can do this java compile Or just do this Java compile command line arguments Java and then Java and this time again let's put 6 and 10 the first argument value is 6 and the second one 10 and the application returns 60 which is 6 times 10 this is how you can pass arguments from the command line <coughs> into your application <coughs> and by using them the application itself will produce an output if you want to check if the user enters the required amount of arguments we can also add this line here for example if arguments length smaller than uh, how many arguments we need here we need two one for side a one for side b so if it is smaller it if it's not not equal to two it could be smaller or bigger you can give one argument or three four arguments it, what we we need is exactly two arguments right that is why we, we're gonna check for two if we have argument zero and one two members everything is okay if we don't have it then we should tell the user you did something wrong so system out print line usage command line arguments integer integer so the user will know something went wrong let's do this and let's check if it works in windows you can use clc instead of clear i just typed for example i just typed clear to clear the screen in windows terminal screen you will use clc but this is linux anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and compile this again because every time you have to every time you change something in your code you have to recompile it and then java instead of giving two arguments i give one argument let's see what happens okay i made a logical mistake here because it is supposed to uh, 
exits after typing this message because it's not exist exiting right now it tries to print out our arguments one it gives an error what I want if uh, the user doesn't give two numbers two arguments then I should cancel I should break the application I should stop the application after typing this message okay so let's redo it compile first and then run it and I give only one it says usage command line arguments integer and integer what happens if I give more than two again it says you have to use two integers right and let's say six and four six times four twenty four so let me recap there are two ways to run any Java application one using terminal screen like this we just did and the other one is using the NetBeans if you use NetBeans you cannot pass the arguments you have to do it from the command line there is actually a way to do that in NetBeans too but we're, gonna, we're not gonna use it anyways um, so if you're using command line it is possible to send arguments to your application so that the application will run on the command line and produce any dis messages uh, display any messages from your application so to be able to get these numbers arguments from the command line we use the string array here which is passed automatically to the main method first we convert each member to integer but you don't have to convert if you're not going to use it as an integer for example uh, we can create another application which doesn't take integers instead it can take string only and the other thing you can do also you can check how many arguments the user entered uh, if your application needs two arguments you can say uh, if you don't enter two print this message okay and then you should use the you need to use the system exit zero uh, to prevent continuing running because if you don't have two arguments there's no need to go further and to run other lines other uh, lines here in your application so if only if the user enters two exactly two arguments then you will run these the rest of it okay let's do another application which takes instead of integers which takes only one string argument which is quite quick you can do it easily cl2 let's say for this one what we will do we will just uh, use a variable string name and assign this name to arguments zero so my application needs only one argument and then take only one argument and take that argument to print out something let's say hey it's a very simple application um, it takes one argument from the terminal and assigns it to a name variable and then uses that variable to print out a message so we're gonna save it and let's compile it CL2 oops and then compile it Java C and uh, CL2.java Java is my source file 
after compiling we run it with the command java cl2 dot cl2 java and as for my argument i'll type a name hey Murat, welcome it says you see it takes the argument and then produces an output by using this argument okay um, i think that's all about command line arguments good luck with your studies